On the seventh day of Christmas, my thrifting brought to me the items that sold during my vacation. Yes, today's video is a video letting you know what sold for me during my vacation and how I think I got these numbers. I'm Lisa's Finding the Redo. I'm a 58 year old retired school teacher who needed to find her redo. And I found that redo by reselling used clothing, shoes, hard goods, and making YouTube videos. So today I'm gonna to tell you everything that sold for me while I was on vacation and tell you why I think those items sold, okay? So stick around and I'll be putting them right up there, okay? So the first item that sold for me while I was on vacation was a Nick and Nora snow globe sleepwear. This was the top and the pants and this was Nick and Nora. Really cute and it sold for $39.95 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold was a J. Crew fleece line jacket. Now, it sold for $13.25 plus the buyer paid shipping. I had had this long, long time, over two years. So, when somebody offered me $13.25, I jumped at it. Now, I do want to remind you that if you see a price that ends in $95, that generally means that they, the customer paid full price. If it ends in any other number, generally that means they either offered me that price and I accepted, or I sent out an offer and they accepted. So, just want to remind you about how my pricing works. The next item that sold was a pair of Buffalo David Britton jeans, and these were new, and they sold for $14.96 in the buyer paid shipping. So, see, this was an offer. The next item that sold was a pair of Cole Haan women's 9AA driving moccasins, and these sold for $22.46 and the buyer paid shipping. Actually, I believe on every one of them today, the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold was a Miffy Rabbit Bunny plush. It was a six inches tall, and this was um, like a, it's kind of a Japanese, um, well, it wasn't made in Japan, but I guess it's from a Japanese cartoon or character or whatever, I'm not real sure, but it sold for $15 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold was an L.L. Bean men's chamois cloth shirt. It's a large, gray, real pretty. It sold for $20.01. Unfortunately, even though the buyer paid shipping, they only paid for my first class rate because I didn't weigh it. Do as I say, not as I do, okay? So, um, I did have to eat some of the shipping. Um, I, I was able to put it in a padded flat rate, so I saved some, but make sure you measure, especially if you're just getting started out. You know, if I'm selling 30 items, then it's not going to kill me to have an overage every once in a while, but if you're selling one or two, you want to make sure you don't have those overages. The next item that sold was a Scentsy Buddy, and these are the, um, this was the pig, Penny the Pig. It's a plush, and you can put the little Scentsy um, pouches in it, and then it smells good, and you can put it in a baby's room or whatever, but it's just a light, but it didn't have a, a, a scent pack, and if you'll notice, I put that in my listing on the very no scent pack, okay? So make sure if it's supposed to have something and it doesn't, always make sure you put that in your listing. Oh, and it sold for $7.51 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold was Rio the movie. It was a 17 inch, and I think that's what helped sell this. It sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item was a Banana Republic men's large alpaca blend um, sweater. Um, you know, I thought, oh, this is a great deal, but when I got to lit, um, like, listing and checking comps. It really wasn't, but it did sell for $14.73 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold was a Linda Allard Ellen Tracy collab. Uh, 
blazer, size 10 black checker blazer, real pretty, just your basic business blazer, but it was really nice and it sold for $14.96 plus shipping. This is one of the few items in this bunch that I actually paid up for. This came in a thread up um, designer box. It's a pair of Stuart Weitzman boots, beautiful boots. I did have them rehealed also because one of the heels, I actually only had to have one rehealed <coughs> because it had completely come off. So if you consider it, let's say I paid $20 plus $7 to have it re uh, rehealed, the profit isn't great, but they still sold for $45.95 plus the offer paid, the buyer paid for shipping. The next item was a Sweet Sprouts um, plush, and it was, I'm not really familiar with that, but it was just as cute as can be, and it sold for $13.08 plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, one, my best, my best sale while I was gone was a pair of Testoni uh, Chelsea boots with the side zip, and these sold for $80.01. I did pay $13 for these, so I paid up. Normally, y'all know I don't normally do that. I thought I was getting them for 20% off, but it ended up only being the first hundred. I got them at Savers, was only was 20% off, so I just considered this as um, one that I didn't because I picked these up later in the day while I was there shipping. But 8001, I'll take that. Plus, he paid $13.75 for shipping. So that was a win-win. The next item that sold was an Ann Taylor Loft extra small rust red um, kind of open knit sweater and it sold for $19.95 plus shipping. Okay, this next item, it was a Levi's tw size 20W dark wash distress boyfriend jeans and it sold for $22.01, but they sold almost identical identically the same time on Poshmark, okay? So I canceled my Poshmark order because you don't, I mean, I think Poshmark gets mad at you and may punish you, but not like eBay does, okay? If eBay, if you have to cancel an order, you know, I always say contact the person first. What I do is I contact the person, the buyer, and say, I'm unable to um, fulfill this order. And be honest, I mean, if you already sold it on a different platform, tell them that. If you can't find an order, tell them that. And ask them, would you rather cancel the order or would you like to buy something for my closet that is, and I this cost $22.01, so I would have said approximately $45 or less at the same price you play, paid. Most people just want their money back. And so they'll say, cancel the order. Well, guess what? They just requested you cancel the order. So you don't take a ding and you can put on their buyer asked to cancel. And you are, there's nothing wrong with what you just did, okay? So remember that if you, some reason, you double sold something or whatever, first off, do, take care of eBay first. Second off, if you can't take care of eBay, then ask the buyer most buyers are very, very nice. And, you know, if you offer an alternative, some actually do take it. And you've covered your butt. And you've made them happy and you made yourself happy. So, just remember, that's something you might want to pay attention to. So, it did sell for $22.01 and they paid shipping. The next item that sold was a Cassique 46D leopard print bra and I've had this about three months and normally my cassique sells really, really quickly. And so I was surprised this one hadn't sold. I don't know, I had it marked up a little bit cause it was a leopard print and I thought, well, that's pretty, you know. But after I, um, either they made me an offer or I offered them, it did sell for 1871 plus the buyer paid shipping. The next item was a pair of Clark's Artisan. They were gray. Uh, loafer with yellow leather tie, really cute. I mean, I thought these would sell good too. They were seven and a half, a great size. Took a while for them to sell, but they did sell for $16.46 plus shipping. The next item was a Russell Athletic pair of um, activewear pants, and they sold for $13.96 plus the buyer paid shipping. Get those new items listed because 
This um, was a new Christopher Banks puffer vest. And I think I got this in a Goodwill blue box. So it meant I would have paid about $3. But it sold for $14.36 plus shipping. It was very light. So, I mean, I think it actually weighed less than eight ounces. The next item that sold was a pair of Polo Ralph Lauren uh, straight leg denim jeans and they sold for $22.95 plus shipping. The next item that sold was also a pair of jeans. It was a pair of Torrid 14 short denim distressed jeans. Really cute. I tried them on. They, they just, they were too big. K for too big, 14 being too big. But I know Tori does run a little full. But they uh, sold for $18.96 plus shipping. The next item was a Chico's um, black blouse. And it sold for $14 plus shipping. Okay, the next item was a pair of John Blair knit pants. And these were medium. Normally in John Blair, when I pick them up, I normally try to get um, larger sizes because they will sell it. it is a catalog company. But I don't remember if I got this in a, I think I did get it in a Goodwill blue box. So, but they sold for $15.95. Now, the day that, the day after they sold, he sent me a, que a, a um, question asking, it just said shipped in question mark. Well, while I was on vacation, I had extended handling time on all my items. So, what I started out, what I had to start out with was because it goes one, two, three, four, five, and it jumps to 10. So, I had to start off with 10 day um, handling time. And eBay does put that in your listing. And so, people should notice that. But what I do is, after they purchase something, then I send them a message that says something along the lines of, thank you so much for your pur your purchase. Um, I hope that you notice that it, there is extended handling time because I am on vacation. If this is a problem, we can cancel the order, okay? Just real basic, and I say, I'm going to ship these on Monday, December 6th. So I'll let them know exactly when they're going out. If they make an offer, I always, even if it's a good offer, I counter back a penny more and I give them the same um, spill, but I do that in there if you choose to accept my offer. So with this, I had sent him a message, okay? You know, I'm in the middle of the ocean and I sent this man a message and I said, you know, there by this time, my extended handling time. Okay, so let me get back. So... After, um, when it got down to five days extended handling time, which was Monday, then I started pushing it back. So five days, then four days, then three days, then two days extended handling time. So my handling time was getting less and less. So I wanted them to, but I still wanted people to know if it was more than my normal two days. And uh, so I'd send the message. He didn't, you know, he didn't respond either way. I don't know. He probably didn't see the message. I'm not trying to make him into a bad person. But when he sent that, and then I sent back and sent them the same message and apologized if he hadn't gotten my first message. And I never heard anything. So I mailed it back, mailed it out. So hopefully he'll get it. And he won't be mad as a Dickens because it took a little longer. Okay. The next item is a Coldwater Creek floral blazer. And it sold for $11.49 plus the buyer paid shipping. Now, when I'm on vacation, I take offers that I would not normally take. I don't know. I think this was listed for like $18.95. So, I took a pretty major cut on um, what I originally had it listed. But when I'm on vacation, let's move it. Let's get some money coming in so eBay knows that I'm working. They know I'm working. And when I'm on vacation, either I, what I do is generally have some items in my drafts that all I have to do is hit list and they go out. So, you know, I was gone for eight days. And so I had at least 16 items. And then I actually did some more while I was on the ship, but I had at least two a day because I think anybody likes to see us working. So not only was I accepting offers, but I was also listing some items. So the next item was uh, a St. Louis Rams cap. And this sold for $13 plus shipping. 
And guys, I put my caps in a box. I charge, right now it's $6.45 because of the fluctuation and how the USPS, but I put my, my caps in a box. I bought a very lightweight um, box. It only costs like three, uh, that only weighs like three ounces. But, you know, if I'm getting a hat, I don't want it squished and stuff. And a lot of these hats, you know, this was a new one, but even if they're not, if they get squished, it may ruin their bill or whatever. So I always put them in a box, just something. So the next item that sold was, you probably have seen this in a video because I wore it um, just, just well, within December 20, within the 12, uh, 25 days of Christmas, I'll get the words out. So it was a BP Design Extra Extra Large Purple uh, Winter Cardigan and it sold for $19.95 plus shipping. And that was a really cute cardigan. I'm, I hope they like it. The next item was a new with tags, Legendary White Tails Flannel Chamoy. I listed it for $35.95 plus shipping. And that's what the buyer paid. Now there were others, when I listed it, there were others priced cheaper. But I just didn't see any sense in that. I thought, you know, it's Christmas is coming up. People are going to be looking for new things to buy. This is, you know, pretty expensive to buy. But it had, uh, like, deer and stuff all over it. So it was really cool. So I, I listed it for $35.95, you know, thinking I'm going to have to make a little bit of a offer. Um, going to have to take care of the offer. But bought it outright for $35.95. The next item is a Speechless Kids size 12 um, lace dress, just a cute little dress that was given to me. It sold for $15 plus shipping. The next item was a Turnberry men's cashmere sweater. And I turned this inside out and over and over and did not find any holes. I hope they don't find any holes. But it sold for full price of $21.95 plus shipping. The next item, when I got home, okay, let me tell you what it was first. It was a Coldwater Creek 2X um, pullover sweater. You've seen it on a video in the past. And it sold for $21 plus the buyer paid shipping. Well, right before Thanksgiving, because my dining room has kind of become my stick everything in for that I need to list, it had gotten really full and was, you know, a pain in the butt. So I boxed everything up and moved it out on my large porch. Uh, the only person that comes there is the FedEx man. <laughs> but I put everything out there and I could not find it. I just knew. I just knew it was in that stuff. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. So I was almost going to send that buyer a message. And I thought, you know what, Lisa? Maybe you're not thinking so good. Now, I put all my inventory information and cut in the custom SKU section of our listing. But this had MCL because I was going to keep it in my closet and wear it. Well, it was too big for me. I love the way it looked up here, but it just swallowed me whole down below. I thought, maybe you put it, maybe you've already put it somewhere. Well, I have two boxes, two large, large totes that I put all my sweaters in because really only about three months out of the year, I'm selling many sweaters. So I put it in that box, forgot about it, did not inventory it in that box. And that was where it was. So I was so glad to find that today and not have to uh, send the buyer a message. The next item that sold was a Chico's Peace Top. It was really cute, it was black. And I mean, it was, it was really neat. Top. It just had beautiful colors and the piece and everything, but it sold for $18.95 plus the buyer paid shipping. Now, that was the last thing I sold on eBay. I sold only two things on Poshmark because I put my Poshmark store on vacation until last Wednesday, but these things didn't actually sell until Saturday. Um, I really wasn't able to, I mean, I used Poshmark VA, but since I was not in my room very much, you know, you have to keep your computer up and going with my laptop, then it would go to sleep. So it really wasn't getting shared, even though, you know, it should have been. But I did sell a, um, a I'm sorry, a Rue 21 gold top. 
It'd be great with a cute pair of black pants and a neat shirt for a holiday party, and it sold for $14. The next item, and I haven't found it. I'm going to keep looking because I'm determined. Was a Cold Water Creek quarter zip, and it sold for $20. It was real pretty green, real pretty. And uh, I sold two items on Etsy while it was gone. I know. And I didn't do anything to that. So, getting my items shipped out, I was way late. Etsy may slap my hand many times. That's okay. I deserve it. But I sold a vintage Asian rice patty baby. This was from 1984. It sold for $29.95. And the buyer paid $2.62 shipping. Unfortunately, it went to California and shipping caught. And I paid for shipping on this. Did I say they did? No, I paid. And so, you know, it cost quite a bit of money, um, about $13. So I really didn't make a whole lot of profit, but I still sold it. And the final item that um, I sold this past week while I was on vacation was a vintage Imani African Fantasy um, doll. And it was new in the box. Great time to have it. It sold for $39.95, and the buyer did pay shipping of $24.70. It went to... Great Britain, and I shipped it through Pirate Ship, and it only cost me $17 to ship through Pirate Ship. So I actually saved over $7 shipping through Pirate Ship. My problem now, and I've got to contact Pirate Ship tomorrow, meant to today, is to find out, because when you put on Etsy, when you put in that tracking number that, that Pirate Ship gives you, then it's not a USPS number. So they don't read that. Um, and so right now it shows I haven't shipped it, even though I shipped it yesterday. So I've got to contact Pirate Ship tomorrow and find out how to do it, how you know what to do as far as putting in that information. I bet you they dealt with it before. So what do you think of my sales this week? Okay, while I was on vacation, guys, I did very little. I listed a couple items a day. I responded to offers. I didn't do that much, but yet I still had these sales. So if you've been sitting on things thinking it's too late to get things listed for Christmas, they're still selling. Now, if they're going to get them by Christmas, probably you ought to sell them this week, but that's okay. Get, it'll be okay. They will sell if you list. <laughs> so I want to break down my numbers for the week. I um, see so eight days so that you can get a better idea of the overall performance of a vacation week. So, I had 31 eBay orders, two Etsy orders, and four Poshmark orders for a total of 35 outgoing orders. Pretty good for a vacation week. I had $927.97 worth of eBay gross sales, $110.15 of Etsy gross sales, $34 from Poshmark gross sales, and for a total of $1,072.12 worth of total gross sales. My shipping, now this was kind of hard to figure out because it's not in the system yet with eBay. So what I did was I took what the people paid, and I usually make a little bit off of each shipping order. But I took what they paid, and I figured that that was better to give you that idea. So let's say they paid total for all the different platforms, except for Poshmark. They paid $281.55 for shipping. My eBay fees, and that included any kind of promoted listings or anything, was $125.01. My Etsy fees were $936.00. My Poshmark fees were $7.30, and that did include one of the items had a shipping discount, for a total cost of $423.22. My cost of goods was $94.50 for a total net sales of $554.40. Yay! Uh, my gross average sale price was $30.63. And my net every sale price was $15.84. I'm a happy girl figuring out those numbers. So, just wanted to give you my numbers. So, thank you for watching this video on my seventh day of Christmas. And if you like this video, 
hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified tomorrow when I put out day eight and the rest of the month when I put out nine through 25, then hit the bell to be notified. I want to thank you for watching this video today. And I need you to do me one favor. I need you to go out and find your redo.